Deadline here with another Commodore 64 programming tutorial. You may have seen our 2019 4th of July special that we just released. You may have questions as to how the program actually works. The program itself is incredibly simple and I'm going to show you how I put it all together. Before I dive head first into it, I need to explain the ignition system that I designed. The Commodore 64 user port is attached to an 8 channel relay board available on Amazon for $7.99. I attached one relay to a standard 9 volt battery, which is then connected in line to an Estes rocket igniter. I had to install a safety switch because whenever I turned on or off the Commodore it kept tripping the relays. So the order of operations is to turn off the safety switch, turn on the Commodore 64, load and run the 1776 program, then turn the safety switch to the on position. At this point the system is armed and you can press fire on joy port 2 and the relay will operate and light the rocket igniter. Okay back to the tutorial. First I edited the flag graphics screen with a PC program called Petmate. It is also available for Mac OS and Linux. This app is packed with features and is available for free at Nerpax's github.io page, which I've put in the description below. Editing the flag was not that much of a chore, I just alternated between red and white. The blue is already part of the C64's built-in color scheme. I then changed the border to black. After I got done editing it, I exported it to a basic text file. Then I opened it up in VS Code, selected all, and pasted it into Vice. After the program was copied into Vice, I then attached a disk image and saved the basic program. I then transferred the disk image to my Ultimate 2 Plus cartridge and proceeded to edit the basic. The first thing I needed to add was to change the user port data direction, which is address 56579. Then the next thing was to set the user port data to zero. The eight relays correspond to the memory address 56577. So if all 8 relays are turned on, it will be 255. If it is only the first relay, then you set it to 1, etc. Next, I added some printed text over the flag and added in the joystick fire reading lines. Joyport 2 can be read with a peak to 56320. If the value of this peak is 111, then the fire button has been pressed. If the code reads that the joystick fire button has not been pressed, it simply goes back to line 160 and reads the peak again until it does. At which time it directs the program to line 180 and, and in line 185 it actually turns on all the relays with 56577, 255 
I really should have put 128 because I'm only using one relay, but it works. When I first started this program, I just put a loop at the end, 199, go to 199. But I found that instead of having to run stop and restore and run the program again, I wanted it to behave in a fashion to where if I press the fire button again, it would rearm the relays. Also, I wanted to give it a status message on the screen to indicate which status it was in. If it was armed or if it was already in the fire mode. So at this point, it's ready to run and give it a test and see what happens. As it turns out, the fire button being pressed, even for a short amount of time, causes it to keep looping back to armed mode. So this means that I had to put in a delay which is pretty simple to do with just a four next loop in basic. Just for good measure, I put another peak to 56320. I'm not sure if this is really necessary, but I did it anyway. I also added another four next delay loop into the second joystick read. Then I discovered there was a couple issues with the control of the program and I had to renumber a couple lines and add a go to line statement. And there was a couple of lines that were in there that was from earlier testing and I removed those lines. Also added the initial armed status for when the program is first run. And it was time to do another test run and it looks like everything worked just fine this time. Okay, and so here's the final listing. If you look, you'll notice that there's a longer delay in between the um, fire button checks. So we're gonna have this on the GitHub webpage for download. And we're gonna post the link to that in the description. And if you haven't seen it already, you should go check out the 4th of July special that we put out on our channel. The link to it will also be in the description. Alright, that about wraps things up. We had a blast making this, so we hope you enjoy it. And if you do use fireworks, please use common sense and don't blow yourself up or your hands. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, it really helps us out, and share the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe because we got some really good stuff coming up. We're about to rock this world and turn things up to 11, so you don't want to miss any of it.